U.S. blames North Korea for wanna cry cyber attack. Washington Reuters, the Trump administration has publicly blamed North Korea for unleashing the so-called wanna cry cyber attack that crippled hospitals, banks and other companies across the globe earlier this year. The attack was widespread and cost billions, and North Korea is directly responsible, Tom Bossert, Homeland Security Advisor to President Donald Trump, wrote in a piece published on Monday night in the Wall Street Journal. North Korea has acted especially badly, largely unchecked, for more than a decade, and its malicious behavior is growing more egregious, Bossert wrote. Wanna cry was indiscriminately reckless. The White House was expected to follow up on Tuesday with a more formal statement blaming Pyongyang, according to a senior administration official. The U.S. government has assessed with a very high level of confidence that a hacking entity known as Lazarus Group, which works on behalf of the North Korean government, carried out the Wanna Cry attack, said the official, who spoke on condition of anonymity to discuss details of the government's investigation. Lazarus Group is widely believed by security researchers and U.S. officials to have been responsible for the 2014 hack of Sony Pictures Entertainment that destroyed files, leaked corporate communications online and led to the departure of several top studio executives. North Korean government representatives could not be immediately reached for comment. The country has repeatedly denied responsibility for wanna cry and called other allegations about cyber attacks a smear campaign. Washington's public condemnation does not include any indictments or name specific individuals, the administration official said, adding the shaming was designed to hold Pyongyang accountable for its actions in a road and undercut their ability to launch attacks. The accusation comes as worries mount about North Korea's hacking capabilities and its nuclear weapons program. Many security researchers, including the cyber firm Symantec, as well as the British government, have already concluded that North Korea was likely behind the Wanna Cry attack, which quickly unfurled across the globe in May to infect more than 300,000 computers in 150 countries. Considered unprecedented in scale at the time, Wanna Cry knocked British hospitals offline, forcing thousands of patients to reschedule appointments and disrupted infrastructure and businesses around the world. The attack originally looked like a ransomware campaign where hackers encrypt a targeted computer and demand payment to recover files. Some experts later concluded the ransom threat may have been a distraction intended to disguise a more destructive intent. A separate but similar attack in June, known as NotePetya, hit Ukraine and other nations and caused an estimated $300 million in damages to international shipper FedEx. Some researchers have said they believed one cry was deployed accidentally by North Korea as hackers were developing the code. The senior administration official declined to comment about whether U.S. intelligence was able to discern if the attack was deliberate. What we see is a continued pattern of North Korea misbehaving, whether destructive cyber attacks, hacking for financial gain, or targeting